Hi, my name is Zai, and this channel is now one year old, and in that time, I've reviewed almost 50 mice. Thank you to everyone for the support, of course. Now, a lot of people have been hyping the 3360 sensor, which was exclusive to Logitech up until recently, as they used the 3366. So I just wanted to make a quick video about the three best optical sensors. I'll do some other videos on the variations, but for now, I'll be testing the Logitech G900 with the 3366, the Razer Death Adder Chroma with the modified 3988, so it has the 3989, and the Zowie FK2, which has the very common 3310 and it's also my main gaming mouse at the moment. For mouse pads, I'll be using the Glorious Extra Large, which is a black cloth pad. The Razer Goliath is green, also a cloth pad, and the Logitech G440, which is a black hard pad. In this video, I'm only going to be doing the human testing. You can find the stats done by machines online, so that's not what this is about. This is about how they perform in human hands for gaming. Now, the 3310 and the 3989 are meant to have a max tracking speed of 5 meters per second. The 3366 is 7 meters per second. I've tried extremely hard to make these sensors spin out, and I just can't do it. So let's jump to the sniper test, because precision tracking is important for high and low sensitivity players. First, they need to be able to track pixel by pixel movement. The Razer Mamba tournament with the Philips Twin Eye laser sensor really struggles with this, but all these can do it, and on all three pads. In fact, if I didn't show you the mouse cam, you wouldn't know which mouse I was using or which pad. They're basically the same. And I've tested this at several DPI levels too, 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. If there is a difference, I doubt people could really tell. The right equipment might though, but personally, it doesn't matter, because I'm happy to use all three sensors in competition. That's why we tell people to focus on mouse shape, weight, and buttons. As long as the sensor is good enough, like any of these three, then it's not that important. For acceleration and deceleration, it's meant to be impossible to have none at all, but these are pretty close. The one major difference that I can find here is that the 3989 in the Death Adder is the most responsive, meaning it feels the most snappy, but it's not enough to make me want to use the Death Adder over something like the FK2. I still play much better with smaller mice. And lastly, the liftoff distance is different. They're all under one DVD, except on the hard pad, the Death Adder and the FK2 both track decently on one DVD for that, but they're under two DVDs. The G900 can barely track on one DVD on a hard pad. Those settings can be slightly adjusted anyway. Just make sure you check the implementation, as some 3988s and the 3310s have a high liftoff distance. The Fnatic Flick G1 is an example. And finally, just a quick look at the line test. As you can see, all three sensors on all three pads are pretty much the same. So that's the conclusion. If you want my advice, I say don't hype the 3360 so much. Yes, it's a great sensor. Yes, I'm glad we'll have more mice with it, but I'm going to stick with the FK2 until I find a better shape and weight because the 3310 is great for me. So I hope that clears it up. If you want to help support the channel, I'll leave Amazon links in the description for all of these products. Subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.